Hello YouTube and welcome to my forest. I think I've managed to set up the camera so you can see a little of the fire and uh, most of me. I'm uh, smoking uh, gas light. And I've said before that I'm uh, not a, really a, a big fan of the English bands. Because I find them a bit dry. But, but Gaslight is a real exception. Not that I've tried all the English bands, but the ones I've tried. Uh, and uh, I do smoke English just from time to time, but it's seldom because I, I, uh, I get a craving for them. But, but uh, with Gaslight I, I actually get a craving for it. And. Uh, I think it's because it's sweeter than the, the other Englishes I smoke. And it's, I don't know, richer, more volume in the taste. Yeah, it's good anyway. Uh, and what else? I'm back from. Uh, my short anniversary trip with my wife. We had uh, a good time and uh, I, I uh, mentioned in a previous video that I, I was really looking forward to the breakfast and uh, as usual the hotel breakfast was really great, even though uh, this particular hotel didn't uh, pass the ultimate exam or test for uh, the truly great hotel breakfast. And the reason for that? Yes, that they didn't serve uh, blackberry jam. I love blackberry jam on my uh, toast in the morning. And I never eat it at home. I only eat that when I'm away, staying at the hotel. So, for a hotel to be able to score 10 out of 10, they need to have uh, blackberry jam. place we were staying in uh, Mashtan is a an island uh, north of Gothenburg and it's sort of a posh place I suppose you could say there, there's a lot of uh, sailing people there uh, during the summer uh, and Loads of expensive boats. But off season, like this, it's nice. And the, and the island is, is nice. And there's a archipelago there that's really great. Uh, I live not too far from the coast here but there's no arch archipelago it's just open sea and I, I find that a bit boring but uh, from Gothenburg and uh, all the way up to Norway there's a nice archipelago and I think I've got uh, 
some pictures at the end to show off how it looked. And uh, one of the pictures is going to be of me when I'm uh, having a rest during our walk around the island with clips. And you'll see that I've I had my usual uh, outfit on, uh, jacket and hat, and uh, on the first day we came on the Friday, I actually had a, a tie on as well. But so uh, the Saturday, but on, on the Sunday I uh, was a bit more relaxed, so I skipped the tie. And uh, I think my outfit surprised our fellow walkers that we met because I got uh, quite a few looks people were looking at me but I, I don't mind that and uh, if it can't be done in tweed it's not uh, worth doing and I, I managed to find my find in my uh, tweed jacket There was a woodpecker around here, just when I turned the video on, but I think it flew when I started talking. And uh, what else? Uh, my wife gave me a present, anniversary present. And uh, it is this the pipe bag or pipe pouch from Ratwiz leather. I've got my my pipes in there. There were no pipes in it. And there's a that's a tobacco pouch in there as well. And uh, somewhere to put uh, pipe cleaners and tampers and stuff like that. And the, the gift meant a lot to me. Uh, to me it's not just a pipe bag and a pipe pouch. It's uh, I don't know, it, it's sort of an acknowledgement from my wife uh, that she sees the benefit to me in, in uh, pipe smoking. And when, when I started smoking a pipe, she wasn't, I wouldn't say that she was totally against it, but she wasn't very supportive either. But by uh, making the effort and uh, buying Tobacco, you say paraphernalia. I think to me, I, I um, yeah, I was surprised and, and uh, really moved when I got it. And, uh, yeah, really happy that. Uh, Got it for me. And uh, I uh, was a bit boring. I just got her some silver jewelry. I don't know if you 
call it uh, a silver wedding in, in the English speaking world, world as well when you've been uh, married for 25 years. And then it's a gold wedding, which we call it a gold wedding when you've been married for 50 years. We haven't been married for 25 years, but uh, we've been together for 25 years, so it's made sort of a silver wedding, but therefore got us some silver earrings, necklace and uh, Yeah, we had uh, a great visit to Mashtan, but, but we ran into problems going home. Uh, it's about two hour drive from here, when we, when we were maybe half an hour from home, we made a short stop, uh, left the car, locked it. And a few minutes later when we came back, we couldn't unlock the car. It's a Volkswagen and it has uh, an electrical key. And uh, when the battery runs out in the key, you can't open the car. Well, you're supposed to be able to, there's some sort of uh, small metal thing you can pull out from the key, uh, from the electrical key and you're supposed to be able to unlock the door with it, but it didn't work. We, we couldn't unlock the car, we had to call uh, my mother-in-law and have her drive uh, with an extra key, a spare key to us. That was a bit annoying. I don't know what, why the car makers uh, insist on making everything electrical and computerized in, in the cars. Uh, even stuff that don't need to be that actually works better when, when they're uh, mechanical. It's the electrical key on my wife's car and on my car board, the way you adjust the seat isn't a me mechanical lever that you change. It's a, you pu push a button and then there's an elect electrical engine that slight moves the seat and that's so useless first of all it takes longer time to adjust the seat and secondly it's they, they've just made things more complicated and increase the risk for, for, for it to break down So, but apart from our involuntary stop on our way back home, we really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, I think I'll uh, stop here and. Uh, all of the day. Thanks for watching. Take care and uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye.